Hey fellow devs. So recently I wanted to implement a sniper ADS for my FPS game, but I felt pretty uncomfortable with using the usual picture-in-picture, -picture, otherwise known as dual rendering, or a usual PNG scope. So my method I ended up going with is that I use a new idea that I copied, well not necessarily copied, but took influence from Modern Warfare 2, where there is a sort of like material kind of shader technique that hides the muzzle inside the scope view. So see here, if I pull out my FOV, I'm still in ADS. So my FOV is the only thing that's reset. You can see that the muzzle should still show in the center of my view, but yet it's being hidden within the scope view. So this essentially, in combination of pulling in the FOV, is what creates the new scoped illusion that I implemented. Okay, so let's dive deeper into what's really going on. So most of the implementation to determine what's within the scopes view is actually handled within one material function. And I applied it into this material right here, and you can see it's a pretty simple material function, and it only relies on two necessary variables to really bring out what we need to mask within the scopes view. So I'll try to explain very briefly about what's going on here. So essentially at the top here, I'm trying to find the angle from the center of the scope to the edge of it, given the scope radius. And from here, I'm finding the angle of the current pixel on the material from the scope center. And so we just do a quick compare and see if the material's pixel angle is lower than the scope edge angle, then it is within the scope's view, and so we should hide it. Else, we should just show it, so show one. Okay, so remember this cube also has, this cube right here, also has a material function set on it. So just a further demonstration of the behavior, as I slowly zoom in, not only do you see the scope on the edge getting masked out, but you can also see this cube being properly masked out as well. So you can see scope material function is working correctly. So here's kind of how the scope limitation works in a blueprint view. So this is a kind of a rough implementation of it. I'd highly recommend if you're going professional, moving this to your own attachment object component system or something more relevant. But just for functionality, here's a demonstration. So every event tick, I am updating the world location of the scope. I'm also setting some extra parameters just to kind of create the effect. Um, I highly recommend setting the actor group tick for this to post update work. That way you know your world location being sent into here is properly updated and has had yeah, has a proper update for this frame so that when you render it, it is still in sync. Yeah, so for personally, if you want to move on from here, I added a plane or a sphere. It could be a plane to act as the crosshair texture. Um, it has some depth to it, whatever. I'm not an artist, so I honestly believe you can probably do better than me. And so yeah, this in combination with the post-process effect that I added, kind of like does a little blurring. And so you can create the full effect of a zoom. Oh shit, it didn't work. So you can create the full image of the zoom. You know, the blurs on the outside, just like that. So yeah. Um, I still think personally much more could be done for the visual effect, but I do think the core concept of what's going on, how to hide the gun and all the relevant kind of core functionality is set there. Everything else from here is really just making sure the scope kind of like looks nice in certain like a texture sense, but these are skills that I personally don't have. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for the whole sniper ADS implementation. Um, I believe from here you, you can implement it yourself and kind of take in your own direction and so yeah thank you for so much for taking the time let me know what i did wrong what i could do better and yeah thank you have fun